These Iranian-born twin sisters have been painting since they were 13. They fell in love with art in Iran, but after completing a bachelor degree in painting from Tehran University, they decided to continue their education abroad and moved to Boston. Yeah, we just wanted to move and explore and change our life situation, and it worked. So we have a lot of opportunities here that um, can help us to grow and find something that we never could find somewhere else, like in Iran. We could do anything that we want uh, in art when we were in Iran, mm -hmm. but um, to show some of those paintings, was uh, there was some rules or restrictions. While obtaining master's degrees in fine arts at Northeastern University, the sisters started organizing their first solo exhibitions. Life in the U.S. taught them that being successful is not just about talent. It involves meeting art dealers, traveling all over the country and giving interviews. Today, the sisters' paintings and expression of embracing both beauty and pain are very popular. If everything in the world was perfect, everything was in its right place, everything was beautiful, everybody were happy. So that's the time that you don't do anything because everything is perfect. The sisters' paintings sell well despite their high price. Each costs between twelve and $30,000. Some are presented as video installations, a new perspective Bachara and Farzana discovered in the United States. I think the biggest challenge was, uh, I mean, for everyone who uh, took this movement of immigration, it's to adjust themselves to the current, I mean, situation they have in uh, the new place. And for us in art was, I mean, in Iran we were uh, trained very traditionally academic painters and when we came here we we had to explore like uh, different medias like um, video art, performance art and those all help us to uh, bring our work from um, another level to a, to a better level. The sisters are very busy. Every day they plan new exhibits and meetings. Their next exhibition will take place in New York in fall, and the young women say it's just the beginning. Karina Bafredjan for VOA News, Boston.